Nahu de fine trouble, Asari, Nahu de fine trouble, Asari, Nahu de fine trouble, Asari, Nahu de fine trouble, Asari. News to your fighters in Biafra land. Welcome every citizen of Biafra. And already with a dear kind of evidence coming out from the courts. It is obvious that seriously, as what Bola Metinubu should also be worried. This is Nation Voice Tower, your most preferred YouTube channel. My name is Angela, your anchor. I hope you've been enjoying our updates so far. And um, I always promise you that I'm not going to bow down and I'm, and I'm going to really um, bow down to pressure uh, by not giving you updates as usual. But I'm going to not back off from giving you latest updates as it relates to the political system in Nigeria. Now, um, something really strange has happened to Asari Dokubo and this time around, I feel he should um, find um, his uh, tent somewhere and look for succor from the federal government because this time around he has nowhere to hide. A group of armed men in camouflaged army uniforms identified as the Biafran Liberation Army have issued notes of warning to Asari Dokubo over his statements directed to the Southeasterners few weeks ago. The group called out the former militant and issued fierce threats that could go a long way in putting any man in his right senses to the greatest fear of all time. I am afraid here, <laughs> reading these updates, because um, from the threats issued by these men who were alleged to be um, fighters or soldiers of the alleged uh, Biafran group, I feel Asari Dokubo should pitch his tent somewhere safe. In fact, I feel he should pack his things and run to the government house, to the state house in Abuja, where he sat and made that derogatory statement that he, had, he actually called out the Nigerian army and the Southeasterners to be precise. Without much ado, I think to really allow you watch that brief clip is the best. So you listen to the threats yourself. I don't think people like this exist in Nigeria, but from the videos, it's evident and it's inevitable that we have fierce looking soldiers like this for a particular sect called the IPOB. Watch this and watch the big threats issued at Asari Dokubo. So fearful, I must tell you. Stay tuned. New Syria fighters in Biafra land. Welcome every citizen of Biafra, as well as all friends and well-wishers. We just enter another phase in the movement for the restoration of Biafra. On the Haji Mujahid Asari Dokubo, as you call yourself, your idiocy and arrogance will not be overlooked again. You come time after time to attack the Igbo people under the cover of a joy youth. Asari we will destroy you and any person or group of persons that share in your madness. All governors and senators working against the collective will of the people will be destroyed. Only on the release of Mao's Namdekano shall we consider lifting the every Monday seat at home. Sabo to us, leave our land immediately. Your time of grace is gone. Matoyo Chokoro, a top commander in Abia State, Bakasi, we warned you time without number. Today we have destroyed you. You are gone. We swore an oath to restore Biafra by any means possible. No force can stop us. Now who do find trouble? Asari. Now who do find trouble? Asari. I think you won't shoot gun. Asari. Now you do find trouble. Asari. Okay, are you running off your seats? Don't run off your seats because uh, that particular uh, threat or those threats there have not seen a band of army issue such a threat to any living individual. So, well, Asari Dokubo is um, a controversial human being himself. He issues more threats, more dangerous than the one he has just heard. So I'll call this fire for fire. <laughs> I wouldn't call on... Um, just individuals to intervene in this because this is above just mere individuals. I think the security operatives should know what to do about this. And um, Asari Dokubo should be warned in particular to stop making funny and derogatory statements at people because um, if you don't have an already established fact 
on a particular issue or premise, I must say you shouldn't really go further and call out a particular tribe, a majority tribe to be precise, because um, uh, compared to whatever is happening in Nigeria right now, oil theft is one among some one of the biggest conundrums that is um, hinging on the administrative bottleneck in Nigeria. So Asari Dokubo should allow it for the federal government to delve in. Because we are called to the state house, giving a privilege does not mean you should run your mouth and um, call people who don't have anything to do with some allegations on board. So please, um, Asari Dokubo should um, heed to this advice and do the needful. Or these people might look for you anywhere you are. Now, secondly, there has been um, a viral issue going on. Okay, this particular tweet has been going viral for the past few days. And um, this tweet has um, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Gregory Obi, where he um, called Asiwajubola Ahmed Tinubu Mr. President over um, the alleged um, um, issue that everybody has called out uh, Bola Tinubu for over the... Um, uh, let's say the possession of over 120 cars in his convoy while he was coming back from Lagos State on his trip back to France or back from France. So um, in a tweet earlier, um, Peter Obi tweeted and spoke about um, the cutting of cost of governance and he called Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu Mr. President. Peter Obi being a wise man quickly deleted that tweet in the next 24 hours. I found that very funny. But it's not as funny as it seems because he was so, so right, if you ask me, by deleting that tweet. So in order to give um, more light on this, I have um, Paul Wadimma, a novelist and a political uh, commentator who came out to really prove to Nigerians how right he thinks Peter Obi was by deleting that tweet. Because lots of Nigerians have called uh, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Gregory Obi, out for deleting that tweet. Why will he delete the tweet or because he called Asiwaju Mr. President? Was that not a title that was supposed to be accorded to him? Was that not a title due to him according to most reactions? But if not a title due to him, because he was sworn in as president does not mean he should be addressed as Mr. President, especially of all people by Peter Obi who outrightly has a court case going on on that same seat Asiwaju is sitting on. Can you see where there are issues? So let me allow you to listen to Paul Wadimma, where he gave us a brief analysis of why he thinks Peter Obi should not address Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu as Mr. President, and why he still thinks Bola Ahmed Tinubu should be afraid anywhere he is right now, because he thinks his seat is shaking from the government house um, a point of view. So he actually advised Asiwaju to really um, stop celebrating and count his days in office. More details when we come back. Watch this video. There are many people who have refused to congratulate Aswadibola Metinbu to this day. People like uh, uh, um, this uh, Catholic uh, uh, Cardinal Onaega say he doesn't believe that we have a president yet until this school court rules. And there are many like that. The mainstream of Ferry led by Ayo Adebanjo, has not congratulated us on Bola Metinbu. They are waiting for the final judgment in the court. So if Afeni Fere, or Hanez Ndibo, and several other bodies, including the Middle Belt Forum, including the, uh, uh, yes, Middle Belt Forum, including the uh, Pandef, Niger Delta Pandef, led by 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 Edwin Clark. They have not yet congratulated us for the Bola Metinbu. They have not. They are still waiting for the courts to say the final outcome of 2023 presidential election. So if all these other people could be uh, could be enlightened enough not to recognize that Aswad is there now and are still waiting for the Supreme Court before they can congratulate him, before they can say anything further on this. I think Peter B uh, did the right thing 
by deleting that uh, tweet of referring to Ashwadi as uh, Mr. President. Because the issue of the matter is that if he doesn't do that, there is already a propaganda going on right now. That propaganda is being pushed by APC and their propaganda machinery that uh, the election is over. That the election is over since Ashwari has been sworn in. And you see them carrying out a lot of uh, activities, sacking the CBN governor or suspending the CBN governor, the EFCC chairman, doing all kinds of things, sacking service chiefs and all that to show that there is a new sheriff in town. A new sheriff may be in town, but is he the last of the sheriffs? Is he the last? Because the Supreme Court will eventually speak on this matter. And already, with a the kind of evidence coming out from the courts, it is obvious that seriously, Aswad Bola Metinubu should also be worried. Because if you look at the, what, the evidence that was presented in court in terms of inconsistency in his certificates in NYSC and all that, and you remember how in 2019 it is as a result of inconsistency in documented certificates with IMEC. That was how they nullified the election of Bayesa state governor elect, governor elect, who was from the APC too. The election was eventually uh, annulled or nullified and the BDP took over the state. Because that kind of certificate inconsistency, forgery of certificates and all kinds of things, the same thing is dogging to do right now in the courts. Then there is the issue of uh, non-transmission of the presidential election results through the to, through the beavers, as as was claimed by Anne that that's what they're going to do. They didn't do that. So a whole lot of things going against him in the court, and of course there are many other issues. The issues of uh, the issue of uh, federal capital threat to the twenty-five percent in Abuja, which as well you did not get. So there are a lot of things going on in the court. That if you really pay attention, you will know that it is not yet over until it is over. All right, um, you heard that, and I would say uh, Peter Obi just justified his court case, his petition in court. Because if he would address Asiwa as Mr. President, then what do you want other obedience, other um, supporters of the Labour Party to do? Okay, that means um, their boss, their principal has accepted or considered to defeat. That means there will no longer be any petition in court anymore. You're categorically telling um, Justice Haruna Samani Simon and his, um, his um, colleagues, the tribunal, to please um, close the case in court that you had already considered defeat. So in order to avoid uh, negative reactions to his tweet, Peter Gregory will be being a wise man that he has always been, deleted that tweet. So he sacrificed not talking about the 120 car convoy by Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president, uh, over his own um, petition. Yes, his petition is the most important thing. So he shouldn't really um, jeopardize um, the chances he has in court. Of course, we've seen glaring evidences that are pointing at the fact that Bola Ahmed Tinubu is, uh, has his days counted in that seat in Aswe Rock. That is that on that particular update. Finally, I would, I would like to urge our viewers, please like, share and watch till the end. Don't forget to drop a comment for us too in the comment section. And then to our subscribers, both incoming and already existing, tap the notification bell so you will always be the first with first-hand information anytime to drop new videos. 
Finally, the Labour Party gubernatorial candidate of Bayelsa State Engineer Udengi Eradiri has urged his people and the entire faithfuls of Bayelsa State on how he intends to govern the state if voted into power. The engineer promised to revive the economy, the already dead economy, according to him, of Bielsa State, and he opted to go for better reforms amidst the already dented polity in the state. More details after this video. Watch it. We are going to conscientize the people of Bielsa. We are going to revive the morale of our people so that everybody is his neighbor's uh, Everybody must be his, his neighbor's keeper. What did I want? I cannot be saying a brother's keeper. You cannot sit down and somebody is being uh, molested and you keep quiet about it. It is because there is no leadership that is inspiring the people. We are going to inspire that kind of leadership where we shall be our brother's keeper in Bayesa. And then, as a government, we will ensure that we have eyes everywhere. Most criminals know that it is difficult for them to get away. Crime will begin to reduce. But we will do our part as leaders, as those who are, in, are custodians of the resources of the people. We are just custodians. Why should I be celebrated for building a road? What is my responsibility? What is the job description of a governor? The governor's position has certain duties. You must pay salaries. You, why should I even be involved in the payment of salaries? The Ministry of Finance, if it does not pay, the Commissioner does not ensure that salaries are paid as at when due. There has no business being Commissioner for Finance. Because we are not going to carry block in any sites to bring the money. The derivation we get, the allocation we get, is already enough money to take care of issues concerning salaries, arrears, and those you know, recurrent issues that affect the morale of workers and the morale of parents that will be hearing that school fees have not been paid so students are not writing exams. Why? Because the economy is so bad that the parents cannot even survive. We will revive the economy of our state, Bayesa State. And that is why we are using this medium to introduce to Bayesas. We have heard all kinds of things. They keep saying, you hear rumors every day, Uden Zeradini is being a, is a placeholder for for the uh, social -so person. I'm a place where I'm in the balance with you. We are equals. They are still saying that, oh, no, no, it's uh, uh, this person that bought form for them. Please, since your, your, your principal bought my form, he's just telling you that I'm better. And so, since he bought the form, all of you go and vote for me. So if PDP feel that they bought my form, I beg all PDP in a common sense, we're going to vote for the person who I don't buy form for. I don't know why people will be listening to all these kind of things. I'm 47 years. It is my generation, and even the ones younger that should be in leadership. Once you are 60, you are supposed to be retired. You have no business in government. Science has proven that the older you get, the less productive you are to society. So it is for the young people now to decide. It is you, it's not me who takes the rally. I'm only bearing this cat. All right, um, some people will say uh, that a vocal player plays the best of games. Uh, that is to say, a spectator plays the best of football, okay? But I don't think that would be the um, same case with um, Engineer Radiri. Because um, from what he's saying, he seems to be a dogged person that, me, uh, that says what he means and means what he says. Of course, the Labour Party has a wide range of serious candidates across board, all the 36 states and even the National Assembly. We are yet to see a Labour Party uh, candidate, both presidential, gubernatorial, senatorial, National Assembly, even the Houses of Assembly. We are yet to see a candidate that has aired. Although this should have actually mark their first or their massive first time in office. So we will see what they have um, in stock for Nigerians over time, over the next um, four years. So I think um, all people in Bayelsa State should uh, make hay while the sun shines and um, go for their best candidate. So we aren't projecting any candidate yet, uh, but um, we urge the people in Bayelsa State to please um, check uh, their manifesto and check their track record and vote the best candidate that is that on that particular i hope you enjoyed our times together 
I would always urge you to stay glued to Nations Voice Tower. This is the only channel that keeps you updated on issues that are really pertaining to the political system in Nigeria and as they matter to you and I. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.